I would say my idol is my dad. Um, he was a single father and uh, he raised my brother and I. So just the, the man that he is and uh, the father that he is and the husband that he is to my stepmom now is just everything that I want to be. My name is Nick Alling, or as the kids call me, Coach O. I have been teaching now for 14 years. I'm the head football coach here um, and I also helped run the weight room in the springtime. I grew up just north of here a little bit and I'm very familiar with how Whitefield is as a community, as a family. So the main reason I came down here was to be part of uh, something great with the Whitefield community. We do a lot of uh, volunteer work with, through the football team down here in the community. No matter what the sport, my favorite part of it is just the relationships I'm able to form with the kids. When I was a kid, I uh, actually wanted to be a professional football player or a pediatrician. I just, I love kids. And it was a, uh, I was a coach that changed my life when I was a freshman in high school. It got me away from a lot of gangs and a lot of bad people. And uh, just hope through my teaching and the relationships that I formed that I, I want to have that impact on someone. What makes this department so special is just how we all have each other's backs. No matter what the situation, we all do a pretty good job of working together, but we have a bond and a, a great working relationship both professionally and, and on a personal level to where we, we definitely always have each other's backs. And I was looking for a school home that would have a good community environment and everyone said that I should take a look at Whitefield and I got lucky because they were looking for an athletic trainer and a health teacher. I like the, the community. It's very close-knit. It's almost like a family here. And there's always people there to support them. My name is Nicola St. James. This is my second year here at Whitefield. My idol is my dad. He's worked very hard throughout my life and he's always been very positive and always believed in me. He is someone I look up to and I do things to try to make him proud of me. I think Whitefield is special because we are like a family and we can each rely on one another. I think the best part about my job is being able to work with the student athletes and being able to help them whenever they're injured and bring them back to being able to play and do what they love and I get to see them in competition succeeding. We all are trying very hard to give students what they need to succeed. They put in as much effort as we do in wanting them to succeed, then there would be no chance for them to fail. I always wanted to be a PE teacher. I feel super grateful and blessed to be a part of Whitefield High School. I wanted to get back to the community where I grew up in, and I really enjoyed my time down here. My family's here, so my name is Ariel Collins, and I've been teaching at Whitefield for three years. I just hope that they're learning good life lessons to continue to be physically active and healthy throughout their entire life. I hope they just enjoy school and enjoy being here as much as I enjoy being here. I coach track and field and then I also am a Georgia Spirit Club. Track is six days a week. They're just really good athletes, hard workers. I'm super fortunate to be part of the program. We as a staff are always just we pull together, especially in time of need, but also just I always feel very welcome here and just supportive. My husband and I are from Minnesota and Iowa and we wanted to move out to Colorado but we still wanted this small town feel and so Whitefield was the place we uh, decided to be. My name is Molly Tucci and this is my fourth year teaching here. I teach parenting, relationships and marriage, food skills and catering, and singles living. My idol is probably both my sisters because they have taught me so much just about life and they are my go-to people and they're super supportive even a thousand miles away. I wanted to be a labor and delivery nurse when I was a kid because I love everything baby. My department is special because it is providing opportunities for students that um, relate to real, real world things, if you will. We're trying to create opportunities for students to be successful out of high school, and I think that just the progressiveness of everything is really great. So many people like taking the babies home and wearing the baby belly, and I'm not sure if that's a positive thing or not, but they always bring it back and say, I never want to do this again, so that might be a good good preventative thing for them. When I was a kid, I wanted to do anything that worked with large equipment. I wanted to fly airplanes, I wanted to drive an 18-wheeler, and I wanted to drive trains. I came to Widefield looking for a better quality of life for my former job as an air ambulance pilot. I applied for a job here as a bus mechanic, a part-time janitor, and a motor pool mechanic to work on buses. And uh, when I was in the interview for a part-time janitorial position, they noticed that I had welding experience in my background and asked if I would like to teach full-time. My name is Ty Jones, and I've been teaching 18 years. What I like about Widefield is how small our community is, and I hope the impact that I have had on my students 
has been to show them possibilities and to spark an interest in something that they weren't already aware of about themselves, their interest, and their path for the future. And that I hope that my enthusiasm for the classes that I teach rubs off on them and they enjoy the classes whether or not they signed up for shop class or whether they were placed in it because they needed an elective credit. And many of the students I have had who enjoyed the classes the most said they came into it very hesitant thinking they wouldn't enjoy it all that much and in the end they ended up loving it. Other things I do for the community at school uh, as part of the automotive classes we have here we perform oil changes and uh, basic automotive services for a lot of the employees and for students as well. What I like about my department is our goal of preparing students for the real world and what those expectations are going to be in just a few short years. The classes we offer provides them a chance to gain real world skill sets and perhaps open their eyes to an opportunity they didn't realize exist outside of school. And perhaps that student isn't uh, someone who's going to have uh, college as a realistic future for themselves and uh, many of the classes we offer allow them to get into the workforce and perhaps into a career path that they really enjoy without having to go to the large expense of the college education. I grew up in this area. I graduated from Whitefield in 2002 and just felt like home. My name is Jill Griggs and I've been teaching me at Whitefield here for three years now. I'm a business marketing teacher so I kind of do an array of classes. I do entrepreneurship, business law, intro to marketing, sports and entertainment marketing, finance, personal finance which is my favorite, and then accounting. I also run DECA and FBLA. So DECA stands for Distributive Education Clubs of America. It teaches the marketing side of business and you get real world situation. Then Future Business Leaders of America is FBLA. That gives you into different areas like you can compete in call center or writing or web design or any kind of thing like that. What I would hope would happen is that they, they get the real world experience in my classroom and can see what it's like to own a business or do their finances and so I hope they take just a small piece out of my class and be able to use that and translate into their lives. This season is my eighth year coaching so I coached before I actually taught here and my favorite part is just being able to see a student athlete grow from the first time you meet them and I've been with eight seasons I've been able to see all four years and how they improve it's just been really awesome. I wanted to be on Broadway because I love to sing and then second I wanted to own my own bowling alley and I still actually want to do that when I retire. The best part of my job is just working with the students every day. During my senior year of college, I found the job posting through the university that I went to at Bowling Green State University, and I thought that it would be a great opportunity to start my teaching career here in Whitefield. Um, I love the Whitefield community because it really does feel like family, just a small community. My name is Brooke Scarborough, and this is my first year teaching at Whitefield High School. When I was a kid, I really wanted to be an English teacher. My idol is my mom. She's a preschool teacher back in Ohio and I've always looked up to her throughout my whole life and she definitely inspired me to want to become a teacher. Well, I feel special because of the think of the traditions we have. My name is David Bergen. I've been teaching at Whitefield for about 17 years now. I teach the engineering classes. We have six different types of uh, classes right now, from intro to engineering, all the way up to aerospace and civil engineering. I also have my hands in the computer science programming. Uh, we're not stuck in seats, taking notes every day. Uh, a lot of different little projects we get to experiment and play and build and just a lot of good hands-on activity. Kids in, in our vocational area get to work with a lot, a lot of their hands and move around and experiment with things in a different way than they do in any other department or program. and hopefully it will expand it even more classes next year. There's a lot of people out there and there's only so many cops so we try to do the best job that we can. Everybody's you know safety and everything is, is the biggest thing for us. Um, we want to keep everybody safe and we want to do our job well. We're just normal people so we want to go home at night too. Here's my idol, mm, Frank Sinatra. Love his music. My name is Deputy McGough, and uh, this is my first year as school resource officer at Whitefield High School. If I wanted to be a doctor, my second choice was being a cop, and here I am. So Whitefield is a really nice community. Parents are really open to um, helping out the students, and they're also really, really nice when I'm, I'm out in the community talking with people. Um, they always want to stop and say hi and just see how I'm doing. It's interesting because not everybody's the same. It's, there's always different things going on all the time in the school. 
there's a lot of uh, school pride, trying to keep them on the straight and narrow, so staying out of trouble, um, answering questions that they might have, and just having a good time with them. This community just has like the best atmosphere, that, like everybody really looks out for each other and takes care of each other, and it's a real family, and so it's one of the reasons why I wanted to come back and work at Whitefield. My name is Amy Hawkins Keeler. I actually started at Sproul like 20 years ago, and my husband's in the military, went around the world. We came back to Colorado, and the first school I applied for was back at Whitefield. When I was a kid, I think I wanted to be a cowgirl and ride through the West because I loved reading, you know, stories about the West. And then I think it took a natural turn that I learned, you know, I just love to read books. And now working in a library, it's second best to being a cowgirl. The NHS sponsor and NHS does a lot for the community. Um, I also help with sophomore council and swim team. My mother is my idol. My mother was a teacher also and really involved in the community and helping others and so I try to be like her. Sometimes it doesn't look like we work very hard but we work pretty hard to keep everything. My name is Alex Chad and I've been here for two years. I wanted to be a singer when I was a kid which is like really awkward to admit but I wouldn't stop singing to the point where people would tell me to be quiet so it was something I wanted to do. <laughs> my name is Angela Knight. This is my first year here. A lot of people say their mom. My mom is my idol, but my grandmother has to be. She survived a massive stroke about 24 years ago. She continued fighting to stay alive because my parents told her that they were pregnant. So she fully made a complete recovery. Not many people can do that. Widefield reminds me of my home in Hawaii. The community itself has a really large population where I'm from, but we're super family oriented. We're really close knit and everybody knows each other, and that's the same thing here. Everybody looks out for each other. Everybody knows each other. A lot of people don't realize that in this office, even though there's just two of us, we do a lot more than people think about. Like all the little things that most people don't have to deal with or don't think about on a daily basis, we do here. We do so many different things for students and people kind of don't realize that sometimes there's more than just records and registration that we do. To me what makes it special is the relationship we have with the Counseling Center because our department's just two people here, but we work with the Counseling Center really closely and there's not a day that somebody can walk in from the Counseling Center that we don't want to be around them. We work really well together and we talk a lot and it's just, it's a close little area for us. 